Hey yo, so this is my third diorama video and we are making this. It is a lot easier than you may think. So let's do it. Starting off, we have the famous pink foam. I'm using it as a base because I want to be able to carve and texture it later. Plus it's extremely light compared to a wood base. One goal I have for this project is to use a lot of scrap pieces. The foam isn't expensive to the point where you need to save every single piece, but for bigger chunks like these, they're worth saving. Before gluing anything, I'm planning out how I want it to look. Unfortunately, I don't have an exact plan or idea sketched out. Mainly, I want it to be rocky and mountainy. Also, I'm using these fried chicken rock pieces I made a while ago. I made way too many, so I'm trying to put them to good use. These are actually made from the white cheap styrofoam. Now that I have the general idea, I'm going to begin gluing. Not sure if hot glue is the best glue for foam, but because it dries really quickly, you can work pretty fast. I'm just throwing the glue on and placing the pieces down. It doesn't have to be perfect because I am gonna cut it up later. One tool that I wanna get is a table wire cutter, but I don't have one yet, but I do have this handheld wire cutter and I, I like it a lot. It cuts so easily. I do wear a mask to protect from any fumes from the burning foam. I use this first and then I go in and cut it with a blade to be more precise and just get some better cuts and better texture. Everything is set and the next step is kind of new using plaster of Paris, which I just add water, I spread it around. Mainly on the cracks and the pieces with gaps to help blend instead of it just looking like chunks of foam on top of foam. This does dry pretty quickly and it's also not too heavy. So, so far I really like this stuff. 
I don't worry too much about texture on certain parts. There were some lava rocks laying around and I decided just to put those next to the bigger foam chunks. I just hot glued these down just to kind of, you know, give it some different shapes and sizes. Now for painting. For most things, I like to start with a black base coat. And on this one, I'm doing a really dark brown that is pretty much black. I mix the paint, which is mostly black with some brown, with the Mod Podge to help seal and protect the foam. I've seen people do it without this, but I like using it. And plus we're gonna spray paint it later and spray paint can make the foam kind of melt away. And so the Mod Podge really helps protect that. There's not much to this. I dump all the paint all over and with the big brush, I just spread it everywhere. Once I do most of it, I switch to a smaller brush to get in all of the cracks and the small spaces. Next is adding some texture. I have some sand, dirt, some green grass powder, and some mini rocks. I probably could have sprinkled this part while the paint was still wet, but I didn't. So I used cheap white glue and poured it on. I didn't have too much of a plan for this other than I wanted it to get close to the bigger rocks. I also stuffed some dry moss from a kit I had that people use for decorating their own like plant art stuff. The last painting part is using spray paints. The first layer is like a gray beige. I tried to do it very lightly, but I kind of got carried away on certain parts, but that's okay. And then I did a second layer of white. I even do, I try to do this even lighter and mainly just from the top like top down to give it some kind of highlights and like just a different color from a different angle. After I let that dry a little bit, the last magical step I did is add snow. It's not real snow. Where I live, we only get snow like once a decade and we already got that like two years ago. So this time I'm using baking soda, which is the first time I use this. When I researched, I also saw flour as a popular option but so far with this baking soda, I have no complaints. To help spread it, I use the sifter. Not sure how necessary that is, but I really like how it looks. It did a really good job of laying it nice and smooth without any clumps, and it just kind of spread very evenly. I did get this sifter specifically for me and my diorama stuff, so I didn't borrow from my wife. For the month of December, I plan on most of my picks being snowy picks. And so here's a couple of images that I set up so far using this diorama.
Let me know what you think. And hopefully this motivated you to make your own, create and inspire. <laughs>